Hey JFC, my name is Dan DeMay and I am the Highlands Ranch Campus Pastor. And I'm DJ Smith and I'm the Castle Rock Campus Pastor. We would like to take just a few moments to talk to you about the importance of water baptism. In Romans chapter 10 verse 9 it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. Also in John chapter 6, Jesus told the people listening that the work of the Father is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So clearly, believing in Jesus in our heart is really where salvation happens. It's not through water baptism. However, I think we do see that from the very beginning, water baptism has been an important and even a crucial step in obeying Jesus. There are over 25 different verses spoken by Paul in his teachings and then even Jesus as he said, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them. It is clearly uh, a very important thing that every believer needs to have in their life as a public profession of what they believe. Absolutely, Dan. We see that also in Acts chapter 2 in the very beginning on the day of Pentecost when after preaching his famous sermon, Peter told the people, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will receive forgiveness for your sins. And then he goes on to say you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. But clearly from the very beginning, water baptism was a step that people were encouraged or even commanded to take to let the world know, man, I am going to follow Jesus with all my heart all the days of my life. You know, a lot of times people will say, hey, Pastor Dan, what happens when I get baptized? Do, do I change? And obviously, in a physical situation, you're not going to change. When you go under that water and you come out, you're, you don't grow muscles, your hair color doesn't change. But there's a section of scripture in Ephesians that says, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against powers and principalities. And we believe with all of our hearts that when you go under that water and come out, you become a new person in the spiritual realm. Hmm. That's good, Dan. Also in Romans chapter 6, it says this in verse 3, Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. And I think that's what we're talking about, is that as we follow Jesus in that act of obedience, symbolizing we're buried with him in death, death to our sinful ways, death to our selfish mindset, we are also then raised with Christ into a new life, a life of the Spirit. And that's why it's so important to understand that we don't baptize babies because it obviously is mm -hmm. something that we do as a public, yeah. again, a public profession of what we have confessed in our heart and in our mind. And so uh, we, don't, we don't have those baptisms for babies, but we actually do baby dedication services. So that's pretty much it. We truly hope this has been informative for you and that you are seriously and prayerfully considering following Jesus in this important step of water baptism. If there's anything we can do to assist you in this important decision in your life, please let us know by contacting us at jfc.org or calling the church office.